This video will show you the Canyon of the Ancients National Monument and help you see why this is one place you want to make sure to include in your Southwest Colorado trip. Just to give you a feel for where Canyon of the Ancients is at, so this is a map of Colorado. Mesa Verde is down in the southwest corner here, pretty much between Cortez and Mancos. So in this area, here's Mesa Verde National Park. And then right here, this stretch, all of this includes Canyon of the Ancients National Monument. And let's dive in a little bit closer on that map. When we went to Mesa Verde in this area, we stayed here in Cortez because it was probably only 20, 25 minutes over to Mesa Verde. And then it puts you pretty close to Canyon of the Ancients and Hoven Weep Memorial, which is worth seeing as well. So the first thing to know though, is that the Canyon of the Ancients Visitor Center and Museum is up in Dolores over here. And you definitely wanna check that out first. I'll show a video of what that looks like. And then from there, you'll get your maps and you'll get your guides and you'll decide where you want to go to see the different dwellings. So this area is not all like preserved monument space, right? This is, there's houses in here, there's farms in here. Um, you're kind of dealing with going by people's driveways and stuff. So, and then the dwellings and things are kind of interspersed throughout in this area. The biggest one to see is Lowry Pueblo and that's where we went and so I'll show you videos of that. And then Painted Hand Pueblo and we tried to go see this but we were having issues understanding exactly where the road was private versus um, public. We saw a lot of no trespassing signs and we ended up just deciding that we maybe were not on the right path or the right route and so then we just continued our way over to Hope and Weep. So let me dig deep into the videos of the actual Canyon of the Ancients Museum and then some of the monument sites. A visit to Canyon of the Ancients should start with a tour of the Anasazi Heritage Center. And you can come into the center, you can see artifacts that were excavated from different areas and have been preserved here. You can learn about the ancestral Pueblo and life. And there's a bunch of different interactive exhibits and hands-on things. This is a really fun place for kids, places where they can feel like they're almost acting like an archeologist. They also have the Junior Ranger program, even though this is managed by BLM and not one of the NPS sites, it still very much feels like an NPS site. So full museum, interaction, the kids can do the Junior Ranger packet and get a badge just like in other places. And just a lot of great, wonderful information and, and um, ideas. You can also get your tour guides and talk to the Rangers and things like that while you're here. The center is open, I guess, most every day except a couple holidays like Christmas and stuff like that. But um, it's open pretty frequently. I don't know right now because of COVID if it's open, but uh, it was open at the time that we went. There's also a bookstore where you can buy different products and stuff. If you only have a half day, I'd recommend visiting the visitor center and then heading out to Lori Pueblo. Lori Pueblo is the only developed recreational site within Canyons of the Ancients. So they have um, a picnic table area and they have toilets and things like that. It's all wheelchair accessible and stroller accessible. Um, you can see some of the cool sites here. You can even go inside of it and look inside the kiva like you're seeing right here. There's st stabilized standing walls that you can walk by. There's 40 different rooms and eight kivas that are within the structure that you see right there. The kids are allowed to kind of walk around and get pretty up close and personal to these ancient dwellings, which is something you don't really have so much at Mesa Verde. So this is the kind of place where you can go and be a little bit closer and really help kind of bring this home to your kids. Lots of interpretive signs. So you have things that you can read to them and help them understand what life was like back for the people that lived here a thousand years ago. They also have a great Kiva at this location, which is this large, huge pit where you can see different stone structures that were part of that ancient Kiva that's in there. And so you're able to walk along and hike there and see all of that. Here's a view of that great Kiva. I also wanted to make a note that there is asphalt 
or part of the portion as you're heading out to Lori Pueblo, and then at one point it turns to gravel. Now the road is pretty smooth and level, so you could get an RV back here. Um, we were in our Jeep, so I don't remember exactly how difficult it would be, but it does claim that it's passable for most vehicles. And because they make it wheelchair accessible, I would imagine wheelchair vans and stuff need to come in. So um, I would imagine you'd be able to at least get your RV to this location. Thanks for watching. I hope this was a useful review for you. We are RV Homeschool, and you can find us at RV Homeschool on Instagram and Facebook. Please feel free to ask any questions below or give us a thumbs up. Thanks so much.